वेलकम बैक गाइज टूडे वी गोना स्टडी अबाउट लेबनीज थ्योरम एंड इट्स प्रूफ लेबनीज थ्योरम स्टेट्स दैट इफ यू एंड वी बी टू फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स पोजेसिंग डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एन एथ ऑर्डर देन यू वी एन मीन्स एन एथ डेरीवेटिव ऑफ यू एन टू वी इज इक्वल टू एन सी जीरो यू एन वी प्लस एन सी वन यू एन माइनस वन वी वन प्लस एन सी टू यू एन माइनस टू वी टू प्लस सो ऑन एन सी आर यू एन माइनस आर वी आर सो ऑन अप टू एन सी एन वी यू वी एन ओके नाउ वी विल प्रूव दिस थ्योरम बाय प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन सो फर्स्ट लेटेस्ट सपोज वाई इज इक्वल्स टू यू इन टू वी नाउ डिफ्रेंशिएट डिफ्रेंशिएट both sides with respect to x so y1 is equals to differentiate first u1 v plus u constant and v differentiate v1 by product rule okay here we can write it like 1 c 0 u1 v plus 1 c1 u v1 as we know that One c zero is equals to one, and one c one is also equal to one. Now here we can see that the y one satisfy uh, Leibniz theorem. As here, u v into one is equals to one c zero u one v plus and one c one u zero v one. One c one u v one. U zero means u the function itself. we we are not differentiating the function u now again differentiate the function this function again differentiate this function so again differentiate with respect to x so y2 is equals to u2 v plus u1 v1 plus U one v one plus U v two. Okay, here U two v plus two U one v one plus U v two. We can write it like two c zero U two v plus two c one U one v one plus two c two U v two. As we know that. 2c0 is equals to 1, and 2c1 is 2, and 2c2 is 1. Now y2 also satisfies the Leibniz theorem here. U v2 is 2c0 u2 v, 2c0 u2 v, 2c1 u1 v1, 2c1 u1 v1, and 2c2 u0 v2. 2c2 u v2. Now again differentiate this y2 function with respect to x. Then we will get y3 is equals to u3 v plus u2 v1 plus 2 u2 v1 plus u1 v2 plus U V three plus U one V two. Okay. Now this will be become U three V plus U one V two and two U one V two and three U one V two. Same U two V one and two U two V one. Three U two V one plus U V three. Now we will write it like three C zero U three V. Plus three c one u one v two plus three c two u two v one plus three c three u v three. Now, the Leibniz theorem also holds for y three, so we can write it like thus: the theorem holds. For 
n is equals to 1 2 3 now suppose suppose the the above theorem also holds for n is equals to m okay any integral value m kill m so y m is equals to m c 0 u m v plus m c 1 u m minus 1 v 1 plus m c 2 u m minus 2 v 2 up to m c r minus 1 u m minus r plus 1 v r minus 1 plus m c r u m minus r v r up to m c m u v m and now we will prove that the the theorem also holds for y into y m plus 1 so now again differentiate this function differentiate function with respect to x then we will get y m plus 1 is equals to m c 0 u m plus 1 v plus u m v 1 plus m c 1 u m v 1 plus u m minus 1 v 2 plus m c 2 u m minus 1 v 2 plus u m minus 2 v 3 to m c r minus 1 u m minus r plus 2 v r minus 1 plus u m minus r plus 1 v r plus m c r u m minus r plus 1 v r plus u m minus r v r plus 1 up to m c m plus m c m u 1 v m plus u v m plus 1 okay now we will rearrange this here u m v 1 here and this is also u m v 1 so we will write it together like this u m plus 1 b plus m c 0 plus m c 1 u m v 1 now u m minus 2 v 2 and here u m minus 2 v 2 we will write it like together like this m c 1 plus m c 2 u m minus 1 v 2 plus so on here u m minus r v r u m minus r plus 1 v r m c r minus 1 plus m c r u m minus r plus 1 v r up to m c m u v m plus 1 u v m plus 1 as we know the, now market equation number one since we know that know that m c r minus one plus m c r is equals to m plus one c r from permutation and combination put r is equals to 1 2 3 and so on then we will get m 
c0 plus mc1 is equals to m plus 1 c1 mc1 plus mc2 is equals to m plus 1 c2 and so on also we know that mcm is equals to m plus 1 cm plus 1 and mc0 is equals to m plus 1 c0 we we will use this 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 in equation number 1 now put these values put these values in equation 3 so y m plus 1 is equals to here mc0 we will put mc0 of m plus 1 c0 m plus 1 c0 u m plus 1 b plus mc0 plus mc1 is equals to m plus 1 c1 m plus 1 c1 u m b1 plus mc1 plus mc2 is m plus 1 c2 m plus 1 c2 u m minus 1 b2 up to m c r minus 1 plus m c r is m plus 1 c r c r u m minus r plus 1 v r up to m plus 1 c m plus 1 u v m plus 1 okay here we can see that the leibniz theorem holds for y m plus 1 so if leibniz theorem hold for n is equals to m it also holds for n is equals to m plus 1 and we already shown that the theorem is true for n is equals to 1 2 3 so the theorem also Holds for n is equals to three plus one is equals to four, n is equals to four plus one is equals to five, and so on. Okay. Thus we conclude that thus the Leibniz theorem holds for. all integral value of n thus u v n is equals to n c 0 u n v plus n c 1 u n minus 1 v 1 plus n c 2 u n minus 2 v 2 plus Up to n c r u n minus r v r plus up to n c n u v n and the Leibniz theorem is proved. This is the Leibniz theorem, and the theorem is proved by mathematical induction. Thank you for watching this video, and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.